William Alfred Child, son of Orville Rensselaer Child and Sarah Uranda Rawson, was born in Riverdale, Utah, April 3, 1864. When he was 10 years old, his father was called on a mission to the natives up in the Bear River Valley up near Malad, Idaho. And William accompanied his father on his mission at age 10 and teaching the natives how to grow crops and harvest them and, and about the gospel. Will would play with the Indian kids and learn the Indian language. In spring 1877, the family moved to Deweyville to be closer to Oroville's mission. In 1880, they finished their mission and uh, they moved back to Plain City, Utah. They lived there for a while and raised cattle and Will meets and marries Amanda Taylor, 24 November, 1886. He works with his father until they lost everything to a dishonest man that took advantage of their cattle that was sold to Omaha and uh, he shipped the cattle there and was paid and then emptied his bank account and then disappeared. They heard that there was homesteading up in Star Valley, Wyoming, so Orville sent William Alfred up there with John C. Dewey to check out the lay of the land in Star Valley, Wyoming. And they saw that it was good land, so they staked their claims and they returned to Utah and they formed a caravan and rode their caravan up there in 1888. They survived that first year on elk meat and little bread. And uh, in 1889, the snowstorm was terrible and it just kept snowing and snowing and it got four to fourteen feet deep in some places. It was a very difficult time. They lost a lot of cattle and uh, William was a superintendent of Sunday school. Because of Amanda's ill health, William decided to move back to Ogden for several years. And of course they, they had their children. Uh, William Warren Child was born 23 October 1887 and uh, Marzilla Jane born 27 August 1890 but she dies 19 March 1891 of diphtheria. Then they had Amanda Elizabeth born 8 July 1892 and dies at age 7 of appendicitis. She's on, on 9, 9 September 1899. It was a very difficult time for William Alfred and Amanda to have lost such a beautiful girl that they fell in love with. Then they finally had Elman Taylor, child born 7 February 1894. And Elman lived a long life and died 10 March 1971 in Murray, Utah. William Warren Fred also gets appendicitis and almost dies. It was a very difficult time. They had to send for a doctor all the way to Montpelier, Idaho. and. Uh, get him there in a hurry. They, the doctor thought he would die, but he didn't. He survived. And William Alfred, he went to veterinary dental college and got a diploma. And he, uh, William Alfred would like to decorate floats. And on the 4th and the 24th parades, he would decorate floats. And William Warren would pay for his schooling. He would be a janitor and earn 50 cents and pay that monthly to go to school. William Alfred only went up to the eighth grade. There was no high school in Star Valley, Wyoming. But William Alfred was an Indian scout with his father, Orville. He would milk cows and help Orville with his cattle and dairy business. It was a real difficult time at times, but they, they survived it. They were pioneers. William Alfred left his last will. He said, my home I will leave behind. I expect to leave this world just as good or better than when I entered it. You children have been brought up moral and schooled in the everlasting covenant and should have an honest spirit to guide you through life. Be sure whatever happens to you, hold fast to these everlasting principles that God has laid down for us to follow. The Lord will bring us back home where we will meet the glorious family and live in peace 
with the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost that shall be light to all. Hold fast to the Lord and his pleading are right. That's all. You can't expect to get back to the presence of the Lord through the back door or window. Go through her front way and wait where the door is open for you and where we will receive his blessings in store for us. I cannot say more at present. I have had the best companion that God ever gave to any man. The same blood flows through her veins that flowed through the Prophet Joseph Smith. We have lived together 35 years and have never had a quarrel. Tell mother that I still love her. She is the same mother to me. I hope and pray that I am the same son. I would love to have seen her once more. I have said all that I feel like saying. I believe that I have left the world as good as when I came into it. My desire of my heart, I bid you all goodbye. This life has only one trouble all the way through life. Go ahead and be trustworthy to the end. I am ready to go. Tell brother if he feels like making me a red coffin, cheap and inexpensive. If not, I will try and be a small burden to you all. If you feel like singing a song, oh my father, thanks. You boys be good to your mother as I have been. If the Lord will give me strength, sing love at home. We have all got to meet our maker and I'm ready to meet mine. And he dies in Smithville, Utah, March 18, 1922.